morning folks welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here like i always say i surely appreciate your support guys i've built these videos for like-minded folks just like you and i to help us get to the finish line we'll get there more proficiently and this today perfect example here on the farm guys what we've got is we're building um promoting a bench the benches are or the trail is already here per the contour line but when you go to mulch it with a mulcher the object is is one to keep your mulcher safe right to guide the operator in the mulcher to get steer mulcher some stretches are just too steep if they're too steep you got to cut them in my hand so the object is is to go through and level these areas out um now i say that with caution because every time that i seems like i say that folks just want to use the hydraulic power to do their all their transition and that's not what you want to do we're not building a road and we're surely not um you know making a mess right we're trying to make it better so here today today the, the topic that we're going to touch on today guys is this if you are in hill country and you have a contour line that you need that your transition falls right on you need to mulch that out so you don't have to hand cut it out in the future by hand right you might only have to do that once every three years uh, depending on where you're at in the you know whitetail range further south you go you might have to mulch it every year here in Kentucky I'm probably going to mulch mine every two to three years so here's here's the trick is if you're in ridge country and you have that transition or hill country and you have that transition and it gets too steep so what you want to do is you want to work in combination with your mulcher so what I do guys is I put this little mini a, a mini of that size this is a little Cato it's like a Cato 35 or something but it's a little on the small side I would recommend like a 12 10 10 to 12 thousand pound uh, machine thumb on it and they have a blade on the front of them what you do is you work in combination with your mulcher so what you do guys is you put the mulcher in the front and he mulches out the the transition you know if you're on flat ground you might not have to have the mulch, the uh, mini but what you do is you mulch it you mulch that transition out a real windy snake trail when you get to a one low creek crossing let's say you back the you back the mulcher out of the way the mini goes in makes your low creek crossing which is great for deer great pinch point great funnel also allows him to keep continue to mulch because if not you have to go all the way around the farm let's say to get on the other side of the creek so what we do is we go in there with a the mini, make that low creek crossing, he goes across it and away he goes. We just work in tandem. You get to a spot that needs a water hole, you dig the water hole in, right? So there's so many things that benefit, what you can benefit from with that, with the mini, doing it together. On the bench part of it here, on the hip, in the hill and on the ridge, what we're doing is, is we are on this ridge that is a dynamite piece of the farm and it's just too steep to get the mulcher on so what we do is we go in and i took the i actually i'll show you at the back here i had a little john deere uh 450 g an older one that my neighbor's got and we bench this in just eight feet wide now you go around that corner right there and it's not benched because it's flat enough right you don't want to do the entire thing so as you can see here guys there's no root base of trees the trees i had cut off that section right up here is a habitat pocket so that's tree work there's no root base that you would just pull up to a tree like this take the dozer and push it over because what that does it is it exposes the root base every one of those will have a coyote den underneath them the object is you have to cut it out first mulch it first and then you just you you make it so if that mini can stay what i call flat footed on that bench you know you're just like this and you you carve it in if you can stay flat footed with a mini he can stay flat footed with a mulcher when he gets here to mulch it he just continues around it's safer the deer don't need it but it's safer for the mulcher and you don't have to do it by hand in the future so just as, as a reminder guys don't go around your entire transition and do that uh you know tip the trees over with an excavator and build it with a dozer that's not what you want you want to mulch it as much as you can use the use the a mini excavator when you need to so we do exactly what we're doing here with the mini we had mulched it i mulched it to this point last year this was he mulched it to here so you know i could have i could have maybe left this the same because paul my mulcher already mulched it but to to make the to make it safer and faster i just took the dozer in because i knew i had to get the mini to here with the mini guys is what we do mini excavator thumb with a blade on it right 
something big enough that's got some power like i said 10 12 000 that's a nine thousand pounder it's a little small but what you do is he's going in and he's taking the dirt from the top side because the slopes like this he's just taking the dirt from the top side i had a tree down here he's cleaning up right now but top top side you know you bring that dirt to you and then you put it in your left track so that if it's like this you're it's steep you take it out of your right track you put it in your left track compact it in and then that keeps the machine level so we're cutting this bench in like this it's not with a huge dozer it's not we're not building a road what this will do guys is it keeps that machine flat-footed and when that mulcher comes here to mulch he can go buzz right through here as you can see this is an intersection licking branch right in it stand up above it am sit licking branch right here i have some leveling out after this to do and then this goes out right into the center of two food plots out into our, our ag is above it with my food plots right both sides right there goes down low creek crossing right below it right here that you've seen that we cut in and so just remember guys this is a tool it's kind of like hinge cutting right not every farm needs this and what you don't definitely don't want to do is just go in and, and create your transition with machine or the machinery with a dozer and a mini unless you're in hill country what do you do after the fact right what do we do after this is done so it doesn't look like a road and it doesn't er erode right the erosion what we do is I'm going to come in here this is where you use um, you know uh, any fescues or uh, rye grass or anything like that native grass blend I'm gonna come through here I'm actually working with one of these blends right now um, with John Comp with, with uh, Northwest Whitetails and how to reclaim these roads I don't reclaim these logging roads let's say guys with clovers and brassicas and, and anything like that it's not a food plot we just want to reclaim it in other words to to put something on it the next year when the leaves fall you'll never be able to see the dirt right but right now we want to reclaim it so this this spring when we get these rains doesn't wash it out so that's that's what you do guys is we're cutting this in this stretch through here i had to cut it out last year by hand the deer were using it like i said this is not for the deer this is for us but once you create it 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 turns into the deer highway right so with that said we are building it for the deer maybe the, just so there's no confusion confusion there it is for the deer but the deer don't need it you know they they walk on this hill it's just or this contour line on this you know on this steep angle but for us to be able to mulch it and to make be proficient with a mulcher when he's here it's eighteen hundred dollars a day right though you don't want them you know waiting for you to cut a trail out ahead of them or anything like that and you do not want anybody to get hurt that's why i do these after we get these done guys this is not our access trail there's no four wheelers there's no more machines there's nothing on it after i come in and reclaim it and i plant it we are it's deer and deer only it's their trail their bench it'll be here forever my kids my grandkids their kids this bench will always be here but like i said you go up here around the corner the rest of it's mulch and it, we might go halfway around the farm and and which mine has about you know a quarter of the farm is actually had to be done this way the rest of it i was able to just mulch it so big big piece of the puzzle just remember guys don't go in with an excavator and push that stuff over you ex you push it over like that and you expose the root base then you're going to have a you're, you're you're creating predation right your uh coyote traps is what i call them right predation traps predator trap so you don't want that so cut it out first and then clean this clean it out like we're doing with the mini huge piece of the puzzle guys remember get seed on it as quick as you can um reclaim it once it's reclaimed give it to the deer deer and deer only from here on out thanks guys